Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we're testing every single mask in the world. Very excited today to take a look at the face mask three-ply single use um, from a company called Global Med Group Unibear. Just the one bear. This is a user submission from John Doe. He writes, uh, to Lloyd, can you test this face mask? My healthcare, my healthcare facility issues this face mask to everyone. I hate wearing it. It's so poorly made, and yet we continue to have multiple COVID outbreaks. Your surgical face mask is a lot better for source control. That is the whole point of wearing a face mask. Our healthcare facility has over a thousand employees and they buy the cheapest face masks ever. Please test and destroy <laughs> face masks on camera. Well, John, that's not fair. I will only destroy it if it's worthy of destruction, which I got a feeling this one is. So let's buckle up and let's get it in the clamper and we'll talk about this mask. So I can just tell by looking at it that it is not a quality made mask. Well, let's get it going and see what happens. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you want to find out how this thing works, I'm going to put a link up there, but we are doing the American surgical mask test. Now this was being put in a American healthcare facility. And technically I believe if they're using it in that hospital, it needs to be what's called an FDA cleared 510 K mask. So that is a surgical mask. This is not a surgical mask. It says right on the box face mask. So we already know it's not meeting those standards right there. They're also saying BFE, 95%. I hate that, especially during COVID because bacteria is huge. Bacteria filtration won't help you. We are not testing with bacteria here using this machine. We're testing using uh, 0.1 micron latex particles. I do like that they have these all individually packaged inside the pack of 50. So this is a 10 bag inside it. Unibear, single use medical face mask. Oh, it says medical face mask now. Okay. Oh, this is going to be, this is going to be fake. FDA, a hundred percent of the time that someone puts the fake FDA or the old FDA logo on a bag or a box means it's going to fail standards. So we have had this happen a bunch of times. Um, so this is wrong for two reasons. Number one, the FDA doesn't let you put their logo on a mask. Number two, even if it's 510K cleared, number two, if they did, they'd want you to use their recent logo, that's an old logo. So whoever did this was, you know, a bad forger. Same thing here, the old FDA logo. And again, I can tell that this is not gonna go well, cause look at this. It's all, uh, you know, it's made backwards. The welds are supposed to be on the front. And the reason for that is when you put it against your face, it holds against your face well. Um, the spun bond is like cloudy. It kind of looks like Michelangelo's uh, ceiling, right? which is cool, but that just means that the quality of spun bond is not very good. And then look at the fold on the top and how it's all like bumpy. If you can see that. Yeah, see that? We did that when we were first making masks here and we didn't know what we were doing. All of our like folds came out super bumpy. We sold some of those, I'm gonna be honest with you. But that was in April of the pandemic. Probably what happened, I'm guessing, is that this, this hospital loaded up on these and they still have like them a bunch in their warehouse. I wish I knew which hospital it was. I knew that was going to happen. These are one of the worst ear loops I've ever had. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that broke just moving it. That's incredible. So again, like these things, these little subjective things, sometimes they don't mean anything, but usually what it means is it also has crappy filtration media in as well. I'm going to do a smell test. Smells not bad. Uh, it smells like, um, it smells like a hospital pillow, actually. You know, like, um, which I've, I've actually only been in a hospital, uh, where, you know, I've had my kids, but when you lay down on a pillow, it just has that kind of like plasticky kind of clean, recently clean smell, but you know, and this is like, look at that. Look at that, I'm barely pulling on this. That's not good. Look at, oh my gosh. That's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad construction. All right, but does that matter if it doesn't protect you? What does the machine say? Now remember, this machine is made to test to the FDA standard or the ASTM standard. Um, the FDA standard has a minimum uh, filtration of, of 95%. That'd be an ASTM level one mask. What does it say? 53.307, <laughs> 53.307. That's pretty bad. 
In fact, it's so bad if I go and look at our database here. You, this Unibear mask is the sixth worst mask that we have on our list. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and attention. Uh, thank you, John Doe. Suspect that's not your real name uh, for uh, writing in and uh, uh, giving us a chance to test the masks at your hospital. Appreciate it. Um, hope this has been helpful, and I will catch you all on the next test.